Ken, coming off of an injury yourself, what did it mean to score the first goal after you were subbed in for Michael Reed, who had a horrific injury? Yeah, I mean, the way I've already spoken with Michael, I visited him in the hospital. So the way I went into the game, very tragic, unfortunate. So going into it, I was thinking, I got to do this for Mike. You know, we're good friends on the field and off. So scoring that goal for him was, it was special. Yeah, and I saw on social media where a lot of the guys went to the hospital. What has he said and what have you guys said to him to really encourage him? His spirits are, are so high. His character is one of the strongest I've ever seen. So all of us coming to see him, he just is so thankful and it's nice that we can be there to support him through what is an unfortunate time in his career. Right, so sweet. And when you guys took the field in the second half, scoreless game, what did you take away from the message at halftime that really prompted you guys to score four in less than 30 minutes? Yeah, I mean, it was one of those things, the first half, they defended well. They got a red card, so they just sat back and we couldn't break them down. Plus the fact that we were all kind of shocked at what had happened. So we went into halftime and regrouped, kind of changed the formation a little bit. And as soon as we got the first one, they just, they poured in. And looking to tomorrow's game, you guys are really on the right track in terms of rankings in the USL. So what is your mindset going up against your former team? We just have to keep on going. As a team, we're playing really well right now. We haven't conceded a goal in four games. We've been very strong defensively. We're scoring goals. We just got to keep going. And if we keep winning, we'll, the table will take care of itself.